In this video, we are going to see terms and control tabs in software creation. The first tab we are going to see is accounting. So all the accounting information for this particular supplier will be entered here. Mainly liability and prepayment account will be entered here. So you can see already the accounting information are uh, available here. All this information will be defaulted from financial option. However, you can override the account at supplier or supplier site level. So I'm not going to change the account. You can see account for prepayment as well. So we're going to keep the same account as mentioned in the financial option. The next time we're going to see is a distribution set. So distribution set is mainly used when you create a manual invoice for this particular supplier. Say for example, if you're going to use a particular account uh, to charge for this particular supplier, then you can create distribution set and then select it here. So I'm going to select a distribution set called PC World Distribution Set and then just click on save. The next tab we are going to see is purchasing. So all the information entered in this tab will be defaulted under the purchase order. So the first information we are going to see is a ship to location and build to location. When you create the purchase order for this particular supplier, the ship to location and build to location will be defaulted from here. However, you can override uh, ship to location and build to location in the purchase order. Next, we are going to see self billing tab. You can create an invoice on behalf of your supplier. This is particularly used when uh, you want to create invoice based on the receipt quantity you received. So what you can do is you can uh, choose a pay on receipt. So if you choose this pay on receipt, then uh, the auto invoice program will uh, automatically create invoice when you do a receipt. And you can select pay site. So if you want to uh, create uh, invoices for each and every site separately then you can select pay site do a return to vendor in purchasing and you want to create a debit memo automatically for the self billing supplier then you can enable this particular option once you entered all this uh, information you can click on save the next tab we are going to see is uh, payment details so this tab is a uh, is a very important tab when you make the payment now we are going to select the payment method which we are going to, how we are going to pay the payment to the supplier. Either you can pay by check, electronic or wire. So let's assume we are going to make the payment in electronic. So I'm going to select this option at a site level. So remember, once you uh, select the option as electronic, then you have to provide the banking details in the supplier or supplier site. So once you make the payment for this particular supplier, if you want to send the remittance advice to a supplier, then you can provide the remittance details here. So if you're going to send the remittance by email, then you can provide the email address. So I'm going to enter the email address as contact PC world at C -world UK. Also, you can uh, uh, fax the remittance advice or just print the remittance address and post it manually. So you can uh, select any of this option. So I'm selecting email here. Then click on save. So once you entered all the information, click on save. The next tab we are going to see is invoice management. Invoice management tab uh, is mainly used when uh, you enter the invoices. All the information from here will be defaulted onto invoices when you create for this particular supplier. If you want to set a particular amount limit for this particular supplier, then you can enter the amount limit. If I say enter 10,000 as amount limit, you create an invoice for 20,000 pounds or 10,001 pounds, then the invoices will be put on hold. In uh, you will get amount hold when you raise invoice for more than ten thousand pounds here. The invoice tolerance uh, used when you match the invoice to the purchase order. For example, the invoice quantity is at twenty and the purchase order quantity is ten. Then there is a difference of ten quantity. If you want to put uh, invoice on hold in such scenarios, then you can select the invoice tolerance. Now I'm going to select an invoice tolerance called SS quantity tolerance. So you can uh, define the tolerance in the payable set, payables uh, setup. So the next step we are going to see is invoice match option. So how are you going to match the invoice to the purchase order? If you are going to match based on the purchase order, you can give us much purchase order. If you are going to match based on the receipt, you can select as receipt. So now I am going to mention as purchase order. Invoice currency information will be defaulted from the payables option. So however, you can change the uh, currency here. So now let's see payment. So you can see the payment currency also defaulted from the financial option. So both invoice currency and payment currency should be same. For example, if I give a payment currency as e euro, 
and then try to save then the system will throw an error so you can see invalid payment currency the payment currency must be same as invoice currency so now i'm going to change it back to pound sterling and if i save then the record saved perfectly next tab we are going to see is terms the terms that's agreed with the supplier you need to provide here so how, how in uh, how many days you are going to make the payment to the supplier if you are going to make payment immediately then you have to provide the payment terms as immediate or uh, if you are going to make payment in 30 days then you have to provide a 30 days payment terms so i'm going to just uh, give a 30 days as a payment terms so as a payment terms i'm going to select and then uh, when you uh, when you make the invoices the invoice term that will be mentioned as 30 days from the date of invoice creation so once you entered all the information then click on save thanks for watching this video